Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you like, but we're going to go ahead and make a sign. So right here I used one of the Valentine Day signs and I painted it white. I tore off the paperwork and then I used the painter's tape to make my lines. And with that pencil I used um, like a mark to make more lines onto it with the tape. And then you see right here I'm using a thin paintbrush to draw and add lines on. I used um, Waverly's chalk paint in the white for the background and then I used silver lining and ink ink to make a darker gray and right here I am dry brushing the gray on to give it more depth 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 look of a look and then I'm also going to use the same brush without wetting it and I'm going to use um the wax and I'm going to go over that to give it more look and um, and then right here I did a close up of to where you could see the brush strokes that I used for the white paint that gives it more of a wood look and then I'm going to go ahead and sound, sand down the gray to give it more of a softer look and right here is where I'm going to use the antique wax to give it more of a antique finished with the the pops of brown and I'm going to be focusing more on the edges to create more of a a weathered look is what I was kind of going for for this sign. Um, I was having a lot of trouble deciding on what I wanted to put on this sign because I recently lost my aunt in New Year's Eve and then I just recently lost my dad a month ago. So I was trying to figure out what would be best but right here I'm using my Cricut Joy and my sister ended up finding this sign that said um, because I'm a candle fanatic I have a lot of candles in my house so I'm using my Cricut Joy to go ahead and write out a little saying that said um, no one said um, I, like I have enough candles or something it said something like that I completely forgot what it said but right here I'm just adjusting it because I only have a Cricut Joy and not an actual Cricut so the bigger the words that I need to be and the bigger the cut I need to be the more cuts I'm going to have to make just because I don't have a Cricut I have the Cricut Joy which is smaller now right here I'm showing because I accidentally threw away my Cricut Joy mat when I was cleaning. So right here I'm showing you that I used both sides of the vinyl and then I ended up making a stencil out of the removable vinyl and then right here I'm showing you the colors that I used to make the flame and then for the base of the candle, I used both of those together mixed to make the actual glass base is what I want to call it. And then I painted the actual candle wax in blue and then carefully removed um, the stencil that I made because it is removable. And then I found those rub-ons at the Dollar Tree store. Finally at the Dollar Tree store because my I live in a really small town. And my Dollar Tree store hardly ever carries anything like this unless it's way older. Or been out for a while is when we're barely getting it. So, yeah. And then the heart, I had some leftover pink vinyl. I've got too many candles said no one ever that's what I put well have a nice day thank you